Welcome back, family. Hey, we got a new trailer Whoa. for Secret Invasion coming out June 21st, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, yep. And I know there's already been like watch alongs and everything else on the internet, and I'm trying to avoid them. So Greg and I can watch this new trailer for the first time. I don't know if, how much new stuff it's going to have. The only thing I know is I got the first frame queued up on the screen, and it's two minutes long. <laughs> Full trailer. Yeah. The last one was just kind of a teaser trailer. Wasn't it like 30 seconds? Something like that. Yeah, I didn't feel like it was a full-on trailer. Right. So, yeah, I'm, I've been worried lately with uh, Marvel. I think a lot of people have been. I heard today that Disney has ordered them to completely rewrite the Fantastic Four script. Take everything they have, throw it in the garbage, and start from scratch. That's not a good sign. <laughs> oh. Yeah, wow. I, that's not good. Right. I mean, maybe, I don't know if it's because it was crap or if it's a storyline they don't want to cover or other stuff that's going on in the MCU that they have planned that they didn't let them know is going to contradict it. I don't have any of the details. All I know is if somebody says, everything you just did, throw it in the garbage and start over, that's not usually a good sign. So I think they have new writers involved on it too now. I wonder where Feige is in all this. Uh, right now, I'm sure he's nursing one hell of a migraine. <laughs> he's like, uh, James? DC? <laughs> Come home? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Are there any uh, companies wanting to start a uh, Boom Studios universe? <laughs> <laughs> Boombers! <laughs> yes. Uh, so, anyway, Secret Invasion is one that we all have high hopes for. Exactly. Especially since it's got Samuel L. Jackson in it, okay? Because... Usually anything he touches is good. <laughs> yeah, you get a gravitas with that, right? Like he's yeah. a, he's a proven commodity, and he's he's one of those characters that's kind of been there from pretty much the get go with the MCU. So, I mean, even I didn't like Captain Marvel. I didn't hate it. I just didn't like it. But I really loved his character. You know, I definitely I liked, in, enjoyed his scenes with the cat and all that way. Yeah, more than the rest of the movie. Yeah. Yeah, and it's nothing against Brie Larson. I just didn't like the character. It's just like I didn't like Rey Skywalker. I liked Princess Leia. I thought she was an amazingly strong female character. I don't think there's anybody that can top Ripley from Aliens. Okay, nice. I'm not anti-female. It's just there's some characters I don't like. I mean, I didn't like, um, what do you call it, uh, Ben Solo. Mm. Okay, I thought that that character was ridiculous. Does that mean I don't like male characters either? I, just, I have a right to not like something. Everybody needs to relax you, on that stuff. You love Nebula. Love Nebula. See? I, I love, love Nebula. Oh, man, I would hang with her all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. I can't wait to see. Uh, she, <laughs> she's the good. biggest reason I'm going to see Guardians. So, <laughs> Okay, so I'm ready to get into this. Are you, sir? Yeah, let's see if we can coordinate this, yeah? All right. I, that means we both got to click. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, click. Ooh, menacing. Fury. Since you've been gone. Ooh, I, I miss hearing Talos' voice. Things have gotten much worse. Ew. Oh, damn. That looked good. How do you think I came back? And it's green. Check that out. Yeah. I love it. You're in no shape for this fight that lies before us, old friend. Am I six? Olivia Coleman. Ooh. This is personal. Very few of us know about the wars fought in the shadows. Maria Hill. Sonya Fallsworth. On this planet. Oh. Do you feel responsible? This is Where are the dark. Avengers? This war is one I have to fight. Alone. You're the most wanted man on the planet. Rody. Ooh, cool. You don't know what they have planned. 
planned for you. This is the Great Neck Fury. Oh. One last fight. Is this gonna be the end of Nick Fury? Maybe he's been dead all along. Oh shush. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. First of all, did we successfully sync? I feel like we were reacting in real time there. Pretty good. I think we did a really good job on that. You know, <laughs> all right. Give us, a, give us a couple years. We'll actually sound like we know what we're doing. <laughs> hey! Oh, man. Okay, so it looked really good. And look, I want to see the actors play the characters for the rest of my life. But I, unlike the comic books, the actors actually do age, you know? <laughs> Yes, yes. So, Samuel L. Jackson, I think he's in his 70s now. For sure, yeah. I don't think... Yeah, I mean, he might be enjoying it, but I don't think he wants to do this until he's 90. <laughs> that would be rough. So, there, there's going to be some point where he gets written out, and usually when they sell you something along the lines of, yeah, one last fight, it is a last fight. So. <laughs> yeah, I didn't love that. I thought it was a little on the nose and a line that's used in a lot of things but yeah well i mean overall i'm scared to to be hopeful because oh yeah the trailers have been great for all the disney series and very few have actually lived up to the hype well, so. what's your one big takeaway from this that you was that Emil Clark? Amelia Clark, yeah, Mother of Dragons. Okay, and I saw in the that everybody was thinking that she was going to be playing uh, Abigail Brand, the leader of Sword, and I just got a re uh, I heard a release that she's not. She's playing Talos's daughter. Was it was the name Varanki? Something along, yeah. Well, I, something alien. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Look, look, I've been doing really good on names tonight. Don't push it. No. <laughs> I, listen, but I ain't pushing nothing, all right? <laughs> let's, yeah. let's just move on. I'm, like, way above the bar on name re recall today. So, um, yeah, it's uh, – well, this also means that the first appearance of Abigail Brand's comic books, I go, <laughs> that's why it's dangerous to speculate. Um, Maria Hill's back. Yes. Her. She, yeah, Rhodey's there. Rhodey. That was my big pleasant thing. I think there might be something that leads, that leads towards the armor wars with that then. That is something I'm excited for. Yeah, exactly. And the fact that they're going to do this without Avengers, you know, or no superhero presence whatsoever, that means they better carry one hell of a great storyline. I wonder if it's one of those things where, like, you when you force yourself to have less, it... it it, breathe, it forces creativity. Mm -hmm. It could also backfire and just be boring as hell. But Look, I mean, Falcon, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Some of the best scenes in that series had to do with Isaiah, and they weren't superhero battles at that point. <laughs> yeah, they were just real deep storylines. Yeah. So, um, if you can get away from solely depending upon. You know, um, people flying through the air in suits of armor and throwing hammers around mm -hmm. as your only form of entertainment and realize the audience wants something deeper than that. This storyline looks like it's going to, you know, it'll have some explosions, but it's going to be, you know, I, I'm I'm, I'm I'm hopefully optimistic. Okay, And this is like, I'm not usually an optimistic person, but I'm hopeful, hoping that my optimism will be rewarded. Yeah, I hope it. I think it kind of looks like a, like almost like a spy thriller kind of thing. Yeah. I hope that's the direct like a Jason Bourne type of thing. Yeah, sort of Bondy. Or Olympus has fallen. Something like I don't know whose team I'm on, and I don't know that that one guy looked like he had some like a symbiote he he sent from his arm or something. It, I don't know what that was. I was actually thinking maybe he was like he morphed with a Florkin because that looked like the same stuff that came out of the Florkin's mouth. Uh, maybe. 
it, uh, yeah. I mean, if if a uh, what's the race? Uh, not the Cree, the, the one that Talos is a member of. Um, the, the shapeshifters, scroll, scroll. If they can assume any race, then they should be all you know with practice. They should be able to morph races together. So if you were a humanoid with a flurkin arm, <laughs> yeah. Who knows? How long is this one supposed to be? I can't remember. The, the, oh, this, how many episodes? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. Disney Plus probably gonna be eight to ten. Yeah. Oh my god, are you serious? That many or that few? Six episodes. <laughs> that few. Jesus, <laughs> what are they doing? Why do they do that? Well, hopefully they're not 20 minute episodes. <laughs> oh, Disney, what are you doing? Well, if... Six half hour episodes equals a three hour movie. Agreed? Yeah. Okay. You could do that with Secret Invasion. You couldn't do it with Eternals. If they do, a, if they made a three-hour movie properly, you could, you know, that's a pretty good movie. It's a good beefy movie. But hopefully, they're more like 40, 45 minute episodes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Who's to say, so, man? All right. Well, let's go, Rhodey. That's what I'm yeah. <laughs> happy for. Well, well, that and Maria Hill, because you know she's just beyond cute. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She is. Uh, she's married to Taryn Kellum, who is an SNL alum. If okay, and Scarlett Johansson is married to, to Colin to Jost. Jost. Yep. So apparently, if you are a, a prerequisite of being a Marvel hottie, is you have to be married to somebody on the SNL cast. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I'm I'm done with this. With this recording, if you are, sir. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. We're going to wrap this up so we can get record the next one. Um, don't forget to check us out on Patreon, on um, podcasts, on Instagram, on all sorts of things. <laughs> and until we see you in the next video, mahalo.